guys and welcome again to another edition of learning with rich so for today's topic we are going to talk about spaces okay so there are there is this problem that electrical designers is encountering whenever they place an electrical fixture inside their room that that has a space on it so by the way when you say space you place spaces in all areas of the building model to achieve an accurate heating and cooling loads analysis. This is for the mechanical side if they want to use the heating and cooling loads calculation. So you need to place first a space. So Revit uses the space component to maintain the information about the area where it is uh, placed. So there are values that is in store for the spaces, a variety of parameters that actually affect the heating and cooling loads analysis for a project. But aside from that, it the space also shows some parameters that has something to do with electrical side. Like for example, the average estimated illumination of a certain room. Okay, so whenever you place your electrical fixture and then you click the space, you'll be able to see the average estimated illumination on the properties but the problem is there are some instances that when you place an electrical fixture the value is zero okay like for example this one if I go to systems so I do have here a simple model by the way simple models I have walls and I also have a ceiling because the ceiling that I'm uh, the electrical fixture that I'm going to place in this project is a uh, ceiling hosted okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the systems here I'm going to select lighting fixture so I'm going to select here from the placement so since this is a face based family so it contains three options place on vertical face place on face and place on a work plane so since this is a ceiling so I'm going to select here uh, place on face okay so that is what I'm going to do. So now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're not going to place this one. This is just an out-of-the-box family. All right, so I'm just going to place it here, for example. One, I'm going to place it here, two, and one here, three, and here. All right, so these are now my lighting fixtures inside this room, okay? And then... The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to place a space. By the way, rooms and spaces are independent components. Okay, so don't don't get me wrong. Alright, so rooms is different from spaces. So they are independent components uh, used for different purpose. So in architectural, we use the rooms uh, to have the architectural components used to maintain information uh, about the occupied space okay so spaces are exclusively used for the MEP disciplines to analyze volume all right so again rooms are architectural components used to maintain information about the occupied area and then the spaces uh, we use this for uh, MEP discipline to analyze volume all right so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to <clears throat> place now a space here. To place a space, you just need to go to Analyze, and then you need to go to Space here. Just click that one. And then after that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change, for example, the offset of my space here. So let's say I'm going to change this to 1000 just to show you. I'm going to change the offset deliberately to a lower value so that you'll be understanding what I'm talking about. So let me just uh, change this to about 4,000. Okay, so this one, so I'm going to place it here. I'm going to place it, and then I'm going to select here, uh, modify. So as you can see, if I'm going to click the space here, you will notice from the properties, there is the average estimated illumination in lux level okay so sometimes the value of this one is in foot candle all right so 
this is what the electrical designer needs so they want to know what is the average estimated illumination when they place their electrical fixtures but there are some instances that this value is zero okay even though they already placed the space and then they already placed their lighting fixture why is that okay if i'm going to my south elevation or let's say i'm just going to create a section here so there's the section tool i'm going to create the section click all right and then i'm going to open the section all right so this is the section now i'm going to click the space here so this is the space that i have created so as you can see the space is up to this one so it actually touches the ceiling here as well as the lighting fixture now if i'm going to drag this space it's actually 4,000 here so the the limit offset is actually 4,000 so it is way over the location of the lighting fixture now if I'm going to move this down so you will notice that is the reason why the average estimated illumination becomes zero so the problem is your lighting fixture is too high and your and then the spaces or the space that you place is too low okay it doesn't touch the lighting fixture so that's the problem so the solution there is just like that you can just click the space here and then you can drag for example up to here and then you should now be able to see the average estimated illumination in lux level or in foot candle now another option that you can do to solve this kind of problem okay so instead of um, dragging the space another option is you can modify the family okay so like for example again i'll just deliberately uh, going to move it down so that the value here is zero so what i'm going to do is i'm going to edit the family so i'm going to click the family and then i'm going to uh, edit the family just click that one then it will open the family editor so this is another option that you can do now so what you can do is this is actually part of the examination in revit mep all right so there's this question that is asking for room calculation points so every uh, lighting fixtures family that we have there is this what they call room calculation point so if I'm going to click this one and then I'm going to tick this so that is the room calculation point all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the view let's say on my elevation like on the front view so this is my room calculation point so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that and then I'm going to pull that okay all right so probably I'm just going to place it here as well all right so what will happen is if the space touches this room calculation point even though the space is low and your lighting fixture the 3d model is higher than the space as long as the space touches this one it will read the average estimated illumination okay so let's say for example so what's the height by the way so it's the height so from here to here okay all right so it's about 2.6 meters okay so 2.6 meters so I'll just put it like that and then I'm going to load this into the project so I'm going to click this one and then I'm just going to override the existing version and its parameter values okay now I'm going to click again the space here and then you will now see that the average estimated illumination is now having this value okay why because we drag our uh, room calculation point to the point where it touches the spaces so probably if I drag this down again it will disappear okay so it's not disappearing because the room calculation point is still within the within the boundary of the space so if I'm going to put it down okay so it's nice nice okay so this is the time it becomes zero so meaning to say so 2.6 meters is somewhere here okay so it really touches our space so if I'm going to measure that measure right so detail line click this one so it's about 2500 
Okay, so it's like that, right? 2,500. Okay, so up to here. So if I click this, so it will still read the average estimated illumination. Okay, because of that simple option on that family editor, the room calculation point. So it is very important. There you go. So you have two ways of solving this problem. So whenever you are designing your electrical, okay, so that is what you do. It's either you pull down or pull up your space so that it touches the family so that it will read the average estimated illumination or you can edit the family and then uh, editing the room calculation point. So you just need to check this one and then just play around with the room calculation point. All right. So... Hopefully, you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Once again, thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.